Oh, hello, everybody. It's the program. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. I'm alive. And uh, I made it. It's a Wednesday. Wow, what a day to live. Uh, you ever lived on a Wednesday? Let's just do some math again. Last time I did some math, it was a relevant time back in Hayakuba, which is about to show up on TV. Now it's just in the numbers. We're just into the numbers. It's been a good month. I was watching the uh, the thing, TV, that thing, you know, last night, and we're gearing up to get into Hayakuba, which means that it's almost a month after that time, and, you know, it's been into regular times, into this Halloween time or scary month. Uh, about halfway into scary month and you get tired of being scared or you get tired of other things life gets weird things happen things are changing weird things in life what's it all about what are we going to do uh, you can call the number up there it's 360-364-384 or you can go to the web site ydsgbm.com on uh, mm, the on the thing and then you go to the meet Go to the link, go to the meet. I don't know how it works if you're on your devices. But, uh, oh, yeah, I got to get. It's a process for me still. Uh, okay, let's see. Ask to join? No, no. I don't need to ask to join. I'm, I'm joining. I'm doing it. Okay. No one else is here. Now I'm joined. Good. Okay, I did it. I did it. Now I'm in. Now I'm in. The thing is weird. It's, it's, uh, there's some steps. Uh, you can call and you leave a message, get yourself on TV, and then that happens, and you can get on to you, the, the meet on the website. And I think once we get that, and then it's going to go, it's going to ding on the meet. So we'll call the number and leave a message. Like Bird left a message, but I don't, let's see, some stuff first. You know, the world is crazy, and just like things are happening, and when do we go back to the other way of the world? You know, when one thing, it goes one way, and then I get used to doing it one way, and then it goes another way, and then they're like, do it the other way. And I want to keep doing the same things, but why is the world changing around me when we could just be continuing to be the same? Like what? So, like, uh, people want to do new things all the time, and I guess I'm kind of I'm in one way I'm for new things, but also like we're doing too many things. Can we just stop doing all these things? Like why? Why? How many things are we gonna do? I am hearing things, uh, <laughs> viewers. You know, I was gonna like uh uh uh, uh like. Sometimes you hear things, like remember when I thought there was a bug flying into my ear and maybe it was real, maybe it wasn't real. Sometimes you have these, or sometimes I do, anyway, I'm saying you do. Sometimes we have these little uh, lapses in mm, stability where we're like, oh, uh-oh, but then maybe we're like, is that real or not? I don't know. So I was coming in to the, uh, the house today and it was all dark. Uh, there was no porch light, so when I was walking in up here, and I had, you know, wearing the face shield, it's kind of foggy, and I'm kind of just like uh, walking slowly, like in a daze, in a bit of a daze from just like at all, all of it. You know, it's all kind of a, just like, wow, what? How much more can be going on in in this in this life? But uh, walking, dazed, darkness, making it here. And uh, when I close the door and they go over there and, you know, first thing you do when you walk into the house, wash your hands. So I'm going in there, but then I hear, bing, <laughs> like a, I don't know, like a bell. I heard a bell and I'm looking around and I'm like, is that the doorbell? And nobody's at the door. There's no doorbell. The doorbell doesn't sound like that. It was like one single, like, dong. 
and uh, I'm pretty sure that I am hearing things. So I heard a bell, which is better than people talking to you or something, but maybe it could be getting worse or something. But I, I did hear a ding. And maybe, I mean, that's like not too much of a thing to hear, but it is like I thought it was real. I'm looking around and I convinced myself it's not real. Could have been real. Could have been weird ding sounds. I've heard other sounds too. Every time I've been hallucinating though, it's been a few times recently. I thought there was a bug flying into my ear, which w- that might have been real. I also heard a popping, but I do have tinnitus, so maybe it's my tinnitus is acting up. But I heard, bung. I've heard a pop the other day. It was maybe it was a couple months ago. I, I was just like doing regular things, and I heard a pop. Like, oh, looking around, looking around. Where is that? Where is that coming from? Probably in my mind. So every once in a while, every few months so far, I've been hearing these dings and pops and sounds, and looking around, and seeing where they are. So I mean, it could be like weird pressures in your ears or something or in one's ears in my ears i'm hearing them go off and pops and dings and stuff so it's n- so far it's not telling me to burn things uh once i start hearing whispers of time to burn things we should burn things then maybe i'll start worrying and you know what worry but the worrying is how you know that you're probably doing okay? Because if you weren't worried, if I wasn't worried, then then I'd be worried. <laughs> I guess you know. I guess it's a little bit of a catch-22. If you're worried, there's no reason to worry. If you're not worried, then maybe you should start worrying. But then you're worrying, and then what are you gonna do about that? Once you're worrying, then you already are. You don't have to worry anymore. I heard the dings, and I'm acknowledging it to myself. I almost was gonna like run to a phone and be like, hey somebody maybe i'm gonna call freddie the producer off the show and say freddie there's a program thing maybe i'm going crazy but uh no, like you're doing okay and you just tell yourself that you don't need to call your friends to tell yourself that you're doing okay you can tell yourself that you're doing okay and that the dings are maybe in your mind or maybe they're in your ears maybe i've got some kind of weird ear problem uh is it a problem is it a psychosis i don't know but, uh, you know, I'm alive. I'm keeping alive. I'm, as far as I know, I haven't had the, the virus. But I heard that, like, 80% of people who get it don't even know that they have it. So, potentially, I could have gotten it without even having known it yet. But I'm hearing the dings. I'm feeling the weird things in society. Uh, I am off the phones. I don't know. People are still on their phones. People are still living their lives. they got to go. Like, the kids these days, they're all moving and grooving too hard you know grooving too hard you got to take it easy a little bit but i'm taking it very easy recently but uh you know maybe i'm doing i'm finally living my uh what i've been preaching which is to do less and be appreciative of what you have so that's what i'm doing now uh here's bird Hey there, program. Maybe it was that sound. How you doing? Uh, it was similar to that sound. Got an email today saying that um, the studio at uh, Thurston Community Media. TCTV? TCTV Studio A is uh, going to be reopen, reopening soon. Oh, yeah? Probably. Wow. Um, so... Just calling to see what you think about that. Maybe you'll uh, have a program there. Yeah, I'm not even going back to my own personal studio. Maybe it's time to go to the personal studio. Bird, is that what you're trying to tell me? Um, I don't know. Why are they open? I guess we'll call Bird back. Get Bird on this thing. It's Wednesday, bird. Here you go. Ring. Ring a ding a ding. There it goes. Hello? 
Oh, there's the pig on my video. I am. Hey, Henry. Doing fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing relatively okay. Also. That's good. Relatively okay. That's that's uh that's definitely good these days. Um, what are you, what are you doing? Um, I am. Uh, I'm cooking a quesadilla. Got a cheese quesadilla on the stove. Coming right up. What? So, cheese quesadilla. What kind of cheese? Uh, cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. I guess. I mean, all quesadillas are cheese, right? So I guess it's just a quesadilla. No, cheddar. I mean they got like chicken, or whatever. What are you eating? Sandwich. At the um, at the. At the restaurants and the taco truck and stuff everywhere, they have, uh, like, stuff you can put in them. Yeah, like chicken. Chicken. Chicken quesadilla. You can get beef, you can get, um, anything, really. Probably, probably fajita. Almost like a pizza, yeah. Yeah. I used to always yeah. eat quesadillas at restaurants, but I don't really do cheese anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't do cheese? No, I do. I don't really eat cheese. I eat pizza and stuff, but I don't like just like eat. Like if it's mainly cheese, I don't really like it that much. Yeah. Like I'll eat it if, yeah, it's, well, if it's there, but I don't really like go out out of my way to eat a lot of it. Yeah, I'm a cheese guy. I like cheese. And the cheddar cheese uh, quesadilla definitely makes me happy. Yeah. The ones with the taco truck are really good. Yeah, I like it. Hmm. That was a Melita. I wanted to go to... Um... Are you... So TTTV's opening back up, huh? That's what... Uh, yeah, I saw an email that said they're, they're going to try to get it opened up in October that they've uh, been going up in October, so they're kind of keeping an eye on that and maybe... They might, uh, uh, yeah. yep, so, uh, and, uh, brought, uh, yep, some ice cream to the wife there, um, and, uh, so, yeah, going up, but I think, you know, it'd be good to, for them to be able to be open on election night you know mm -hmm. so that they can so they can uh, do a a re you know they can be there when the uh numbers are announced they've been doing like those already i think right like maybe i suppose yeah i mean they could do it via zoom as well obviously probably yeah. you know I think they're already okay. doing some shows in the studio with the staff, but not with the other. Uh, yeah, I think that might be true. So maybe they could do that anyway. But they're opening it up to the community is yeah. what it sounds like. I mean, I haven't even been going into my own personal studio. So. Yeah. Uh, like, and it's still there. Yeah. I mean, we're still paying for it, and it's still there. Yep. Even you you are on serious lockdown. I know. I, I, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm hearing, like, like people are opening, things are happening. People are like, oh, whatever we're doing. But then the, at, at the same time, other things saying the numbers are worse than ever. Oh, uh, yeah. Apparently they're going back up again. I, I don't think they were at quite the point where they were at their peak. But uh, from what I hear, like, the case, you know... Case count is going up. I heard so, in some places good. that it's worse than ever. Maybe. So. It might be. I hear it's getting bad in Europe again, too. Yeah. You know, they're all starting to lock down again, so pretty scary stuff. Remember, uh, Mackerel was, like, unhappy with me. He's like, quit telling people to do less. I want to do stuff. Like, I'm going to go do stuff. Like, you give it up. Just go do things. 
and now they're getting bad yeah. again over there in, in, in England. And I don't know, the numbers are going yeah. up and down. I don't know what to do, but I'm just going to not do anything. I mean, that's like, why not, I guess, because I don't really feel... I don't really feel like doing stuff, I guess, anymore. I'm, I'm not going to do... I'm going to just wait it out. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're uh, self-positioned, then it seems like a pretty good plan. Yeah, why not wait it out? I mean, people, like, want to do things so much. Like, everybody wants to, like, got a party, got a party. It's like, you really got a party? You can't just stay home? Like... Yeah, I mean, people. I guess some people get kind of depressed when they get when they feel like they're cooped up, you know. People want to party so bad, they're like, you can't just like have some will and like, people are like, you're gonna go in there and like, people are dying, well, people did, are starving. Did you, you know? hear? Did you hear what Trump said? No. You know, he got COVID and everything. Oh, yeah, and then he went right back out and started getting crazy? Like, Yeah, he got, like, some super special treatments and, you know, healed really quick. And, yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, I don't believe on, I don't even believe he, he had a... campaign him. rally, and he was like, I feel so good, I want to kiss everyone or something yeah, like that. This he's is like, the... I want to hug and kiss all these people, and he's like, I just want to... So this is actually it's probably like it's actually this is exactly what I predicted. If you if you go back and watch the episodes from when he was getting sick, in immediately this is exactly what I said would happen was that he would get he would say he would get it, and then he would be like, "I had it and I got over it and I feel great and everything is fine. Stop worrying." He's yeah. Like, like because the biggest. Well, he's on. He's on like really strong steroids and. One of the side effects of those steroids is that kind of like, kind of grandiose, uh, you know, behavior and stuff. Yeah, but I don't think he had it at all. I think no. he's lying. And uh, the big, because uh, like the big thing that everybody was like trying to, uh, you know, pin all the deaths on him, which is which is reasonable to me. And he's like wants to throw it out the window, and so he's trying to like, so he's trying to like flip that thing. And I think he's lying. I don't think you've ever had it. Yeah, it is definitely possible that it was all a show. And it's very convenient because it enabled him to um, avoid the debates. And apparently, like, his performance at the first debate was uh, definitely a source of, um, you know, like, a lot of his, uh, like, most passionate support really disappointed in how he performed. Yeah, so, yeah. It's all lies. Like, um, I don't know what to do. I don't know when to go out, and I don't know who, who to listen to anymore. But I, I, I guess I'm now I'm just like, now this is just how I live, and I don't know any other way, so. Yeah. Definitely not going to go to TCTV. Um, I'm considering going to my own home studio. But, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you could go there as long as no one else is there. Yeah, I could. And then I had to go there? I don't know. No, I'm, no, I'm uh, just, like, going home and, and that's it. So, like, it feels, yeah. it feels really weird to go anywhere else now. But uh, I don't know how long, how long can I do this. Like, what's the point? How long can anybody? Yeah. How long can anybody this, do anything? This too shall pass. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at, um, uh, continue, like, like, um, resilience. If anything I'm good at is, is sticking to things. So, <laughs> you know. I think things will get back to normal. Yeah. And then what? Then what? What is normal after this? Like, there's no more, like... Uh, I don't know. If, I don't think. Like, Happily ever after. My grandpa like, like crowds and didn't like dirty things and was always washing her hands all the time and not going to places. And if it was too crowded, she'd be like, this place is too crowded. Yeah. 
feeling like that might be me now. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, not might liking be one crowds. of the last thing effects. Just not, not liking crowds anymore, yeah, so. I don't know about that stuff. I'm going kind of, I, I, I'm hearing, I heard a thing, Bird, I don't know if I, did you hear me watching on YouTube before? I heard like, a, I'm, 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 I heard like a bell earlier today. It's really weird. I'm pretty hmm. sure that it was in my mind. Really? Yeah. What, what kind of bell was it? Kind of chime, like a, like a phone, like a text message chime, but I'm pretty sure it was fake. And it was just like, bing. It was probably just uh, one of your devices making a weird noise. Yeah. I was looking around, though. I didn't hear where it was, and I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, maybe I'm losing it. But uh, if you consider yourself losing it, then it is. Because I, I heard a pop, like, a few months ago when I was hearing, like, pop, I heard a pop sound. Like, and that was also fake. Like, weird, though. Yeah. I think, have you ever, have you ever experienced, uh, like, bell, like, chiming sounds? Uh, yeah, my phone seems to, like, adopt, uh, new notification sounds without any input from me. Like, notification sounds will change. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, And sometimes they don't work very well. Sometimes I seem to not get notifications at all. I don't have the phone. What's up? I leave the phone at home these days. I'm not taking my phone out with me. Yeah. That's nice. I mean... Pretty much the only place you go when you go out is work, right? Yeah. And so, you work your shift, you go home. Right. What do you do on your break at work? Walk around the block. Yeah. Yeah. Just one? One block. A few blocks. But, uh, yeah. That's a good break. Yeah. But uh, the phones are a lot to me now. I don't carry the phone around. I'm hearing bings. Things are happening. Weird things. Robot life. It's a robot. Everybody's robots now. It could have been somebody else's phone, too. It's true. Yeah. Everybody's robot people. Do you ever feel like a robot person with your job that when the phone tells you what to do in a way? Oh, yeah. Dogmanoid. Yeah. Yeah. Starting to feel mm -hmm. robot life, and maybe it's because I'm not seeing anybody outside of basically, barely anybody outside the program or outside of definitely not outside the phone. So everybody lives on the phone now. Kind of. I think. I think your your experience is probably somewhat common these days. You know, when you're you're interacting with uh, devices and artificial intelligence more than real people yeah yeah it's binging things are going off and the, the whole thing it's it's pretty wild it's a maddening time for everybody i'm sure scary i How's mean your, it's scary you know yeah it's, yeah it's, it's scary like, it's weird i don't know what to do i'm sure you yeah, i'm sure you see homeless people in you know on your commute and stuff and yeah. during your day at work but it just seems like there's so many yeah. homeless people there's one maybe more more and more all the time. Like, I see some of them who I used to know. Like, I mean, like, I would, I talked to, like, two or three homeless people who are kind of my friends. Um, like, that's nice. There was Will, and there was this other, this other, actually, and I, I would talk to her sometimes, and there was this other like, very crazy person. Like, they're totally locked out, but I would smile back at them, you know, be like, hi. And I'm, I am I wonder what they're doing, because I know one guy, like, got kicked out of my work because he was being crazy. And he was a homeless guy who I've known for years. And he was always very crazy. 
and he got kicked out of the place and I heard that he got kicked out of a lot of other places and it's like what is this guy gonna do because he was already he already had a very weak grasp on reality yeah and so it's like one day you're you have a you know you're like trying to live day to day just like getting by doing weird things like being crazy everybody's like kind of treating you like you're crazy because you look crazy and probably are crazy and then yeah. suddenly like the rules of society change and you got to wear a mask everywhere and people are like you can't be in here you got to get out of here you can't lo like loitering is like uh like policed extra hard by everybody now like what are you doing here you have a purpose here you're loitering it's like well no. you got to go home you got to go home you got to stay mean, home it's like yeah, i don't have yeah, a home like, I mean, you don't want somebody loitering if they're you know not wearing a mask and maybe they're you know intoxicated or something You'd, yeah but this guy's yeah. been loitering i mean that was his whole life he like woke up started loitering and then went to probably like crash somewhere. All he did was loiter all day. Yeah. And now he's like, has nowhere to go. I don't know. He's like, what are we gonna, what is, what's gonna happen to that guy? You know? Like. Yeah. Uh, have you seen uh, the uh, homeless encampment on Capitol Lake? No. It's like on the west side of the lake. And. Um, what is what's the west side of the lake? It's big. It's really, there's a lot of uh, encampments there. Like under the bridge? Yeah, kind of by the bridge, but like way more back in the woods, like just off the road. So if you're like driving around Capitol Lake, you can't miss it. It's like probably, you know, you know, over a football field long of uh, pretty intense encampments yeah and what are they doing what do they do what are they who are they getting like resources from these days like they begging where the food banks are going or what i was uh i was downtown one night um last week and i mean it was kind of like uh it was kind of surreal i mean there were there were a lot of people walking around on the street, but they seem to mostly be homeless people just kind of, you know, just kind of trudging along. It was kind of, kind of scary. Yeah. Actually. Kind of disturbing. Yeah. I mean, where are they going to go? There's no, there's no more other people. It's uh, crazy. The world's yep. getting so crazy. Oh, it's, right. It's yeah. Hard. I mean, they're, you know, they lost their homes, they lost their jobs and, you know, how are they going to make it back into a, a normal life, you know? And how are they going to get healthy, you know? And uh, it's um, pretty scary to think about. It's an um, overwhelming challenge. Yeah, what a world, what a world. Well, TCTV is opening back up. I don't know if people are going to go back there. What are they going to do, like, uh what kind of shows are they going to do? It's just like fun shows, right? I mean, people going to go and do their like political shows? Or like what is so like what could be so important to do a show? Like sometimes even I think this is like but if I wasn't doing this, what else would I be doing? Just in my own home now, but like it's so important they're going to go to a to TCTV to do the show, but I guess it's so important people are just going to like the bars or got to eat food to get served. Like all these important things, or is all what's important and not to everybody, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Nobody wants to get sick or, you know, make other people sick. Yeah. What a world. Are you, did you finish your quesadilla? Cooking it? What's that? You finished cooking? Yeah, finish cooking, finish eating. Oh, you've um, been eating this whole time? Yeah, I, I ate the cheese quesadillas. While you're talking, huh? You've been pretty stealthy. Stumpy? You're stealthy. I didn't even realize you were eating on while you're talking. Yeah, I guess. I, uh, uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, I, I, I hide the fact that I can 
eat and talk at the same time. Taking some bites. Well, I guess people often are talking over meals, you know? I'll have to add that to my list of talent. Stuff in your face on the phone and nobody will know about it? Yeah. Yeah. Little pie hole, as Mr. Gintu likes to say. Yeah. Um... Do you have shredded cheese? No, just regular uh, block cheese. Just box of cheese. I think, the block, I think the block cheese is the cheapest stuff. Yeah. You know? Just is it a flour so, tortilla? Well, it, it may not be that much cheaper. I mean, you can get like five pound bags of shredded cheese, can't you? I don't know. I don't buy cheese. Yeah. Um, the dogs want to go outside. Oh uh, yeah, you gonna take them? Yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna take them. My my sprained ankle is uh, not getting better as fast as I would like though. So. Oh yeah, what happened? You were just walking, and you just stepped wrong, and you're old. That's it. Yeah, just um, stepped on uneven ground, and it was just like, was it immediate, or was it like a slow thing, or was it like, like ah, I messed it up, like. Mm. No, it was immediate. I knew. I mean, I've twisted my ankle, you know, too many times to count. So I knew this was like more, way more pain than that, you know? Yeah. And a different, it was like the the pain was like, it was just visceral, you know? And like, I almost, I felt like I was going to throw up and have diarrhea at the same time. Oh, no. Pretty much. And, uh, Fortunately, I didn't, but um, the pain was just very intense. And then when I stood back up I, after sitting down, I, I knew it was serious because I was, uh, you know, just putting weight on it was pretty bad. And then the swelling was pretty, pretty severe. Oh, no. You were with the dogs? No, no. I was... Uh, no, I was just out in the neighborhood. Uh, you made it home okay? Did you have to limp home? Mm, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So. And how is it? Did you go to the doctor? Mm mm. Haven't been to the doctor yet. I'm thinking about going to the doctor, but my insurance is uh, preventative only, not curative. So. Something like this would be possibly out of out of pocket. Oh yeah, I don't even know what, yeah. what kind of app. Um, I remember Freddie like kind of he like halfway fell down the stairs and messed up his foot like a few years mm -hmm. ago. Um, I don't think he ever went to the doctor either. He had a he had crutches though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about going and getting crutches just so I can, like, walk the dogs and stuff like that. Maybe You're I can walk You're going to walk the dogs crutches. on crutches? That would be pretty hard, probably. How's, uh, I don't know, is this, can I ask about Linda's pregnancy? Is, like, is that, uh, or is that private on the program stuff? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I mean she's, like, why is she, can, can, is she, how, how is she? How's it going? To walk him? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's um, you know, just carrying on as usual, pretty much. And I mean, it's um, you know, I would say it's starting to show a little bit. Yeah. Um. And uh, she's about, I think, just about four months in, and so th this is a time when it starts to show more and more. Are you gotta do stuff like? Are you gonna be? Is, is like you're gonna have a a bad foot and she's gonna be pregnant? It's gonna be hard to do things around the house, or is that not an issue? Right. Like, yeah. That, no. I mean, that's definitely something that I think about. I'm like, this is the worst timing because this is like the time when I might need to step it up, you know, to be kind of filling in when she's, you know, too tired or whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, pretty bad timing, but hopefully in a month it'll be all good. Yeah, what are you doing to to take care of it? 
Mm. Mostly resting it as much as possible. Um, sometimes I wrap it um, and I'll give it ice baths mm. and keep it elevated when possible. No boot? Um, I haven't gotten a boot. I've thought about going in and getting a boot for it. They sell them I think at that might, Rite Aid. That might help when I'm out and about. Out in the boot. Uh, do, 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 do the dogs know? Mm. They definitely miss their daily walks. You know? Oh, you haven't been taking them on walks at all? I can't really walk. It doesn't make sense. You know, it's like too much. Yeah, you got to get a, um, like a wheel cart thing and have them pull you around. Yeah. Get like mm -hmm. a get like a, a a harness like a. Charlie had a harness that you could probably he could probably pull you that like one around his like, like chest or whatever, not around his neck. And right. He could maybe pull you around on it if you if you had wheels. That might be good. Yeah. yeah. But that might get crazy. Yeah, and then you gotta crash, and then you'll be even worse. They're gonna see. Maybe if it was like a. Mm. A tricycle or something, but the problem is, is like when they see a squirrel, they might like lunge after it. Yeah, or and then they're gonna crash, they and, and then you'll be more messed up. Yeah, they they sometimes get really excited around other dogs, and you know want to go check them out, so they you know might lunge. Yeah. So, unfortunately, they're not the most well-behaved dogs. I got into a dog cart accident after. Like, that wouldn't be good. Nope. Uh, I think, uh, you know, taking them to places where they can run off leash, that's the best. You know, the dog park or um, maybe um, a secluded hiking trail somewhere. You know, where we're not likely to run into people. That's kind of the best. So. Yourself. Yeah, because they're so much happier when they get enough exercise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bye, future. Well done, die. Sure. Hey, Grandma, I said, Grandma, what do you have to say to the future? Because I have no future. <laughs> Were the dogs talking to you? That's the dogs. They're, they're mouth wrestling right now. All right, here there it goes. Hey, future. What do you have? Howdy, future. Bird sprained his ankle. Is it better yet? I'm here. I'm losing it. Uh, the world's getting crazy. TCTV is opening, and I don't know what to do anymore. Dog sounds. All right, bye, future. Bye, future. Well. Bird, I want to call Grandma. You want to get on? You can get on the meet if you want. We're on. Did you have you gotten on that? Did it work yet? No, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm okay. Call, okay. Say hi to Grandma. I'm gonna call Grandma. Okay, bye. Okay. All bye. right. On Grandma. Oh. Oh, bird. Oh, yeah. It's working. Hey. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. I don't think nobody here. Yeah, that's no problem. I'm just calling to see how you're doing, see if you're, you're how's your breathing. You breathe okay? Yeah. That's good. Everything okay. You got water? I don't think he's there. Oh, pop, 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 pop.
Yeah, nobody here. Are you drinking water? Yeah, I try. Yeah, you should get some out. You have any out right now? So, where are you? I'm in my basement. Huh? I'm at my home. I'm at home. You home? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you home, huh? Yeah. That's good. Then who are you going to come over? I mean, Sunday. What day today? Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three more day, huh? Yeah. Sunday, so you gonna come over? Yeah. But what time is you gonna come over? I don't know. Afternoon. We'll tell Andrew pick me up. So you gonna come over to somebody? Andrew, and Andrew, tell me, Andrew has to pick me up. Huh? Andrew will pick me up. Oh, Andrew gonna pick you up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then. I'm uh, looking forward to see you. Okay. See you. Drink okay, water. Drink, 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 drink water. Drink water. yourself. Okay. Drink water. Yeah, okay. I will. Okay. Uh, good night. See you soon. See you soon. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night. Grandma. Grandma's doing okay? Way to go, Grandma. Yeah. He's a night owl. Yeah, yeah. Grandma never sleeps. She is not on a 24-hour schedule. She's like sleeping and waking and she says, I don't know if she ever gets out of that chair anymore. She's just like sitting in the living room chair, passing out for a few hours, taking naps, waking up, sleeping up and down, not 24 hours, you know? Yeah. Also, my brother is, uh, gets home late, so I think she wants to talk to him. He works the night shift, so. Oh, yeah. Let's see that ankle, Bird. Is it? Uh, can we, is it? Uh... Oh no, it's too much effort. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it really like the you know different shoes can make a huge difference in how it feels. Like the shoes I'm wearing right now are not good. And what? So this is gonna be. Oh my God! These guys are. Under, under exercise, they really need, they're, they're pulling like, they're tugging like little monsters, they really want to. You need some help, huh? Yeah, they, they need a real walk. Yeah, but well you should get, do you? And so it's, you, you know, get, just, get. they're, oh. Oh, bird, that sounds bad on your foot. Which foot is it? Is it? It's my left foot. So at least it's not your driver's foot? No, but it, I mean, you kind of use, you do use both feet when you're driving. I guess to, to, just to, for a suspension or whatever? A stick, shift? I think all the, 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 um. Oh, just, I mean. Just for, you know, balance, kind of. Yeah. Like, uh, Ouch. You know, just for support and keeping my body, you know, I just push on, I push with my left foot against the, uh, yeah. dead pen, whatever they call it. Yeah. Ouch. That's, that's not good, Bird. Uh, we, we, ooh. You were just walking by yourself? You weren't even walking the dogs? Nope. Why do you, I mean, you just yeah. walk, just walking, just going for a walk, huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a unfortunate circumstance. Yeah. So. Ugh. And you still got to walk with the dogs. I mean, I don't yeah, think. You can't really heal if it was. I don't know. It must not be as bad as Freddy's because Freddy had to get crutches and like could not walk like for real it couldn't walk I remember when, right. when Freddy I was concerned yeah, he, he's all better now so yeah I don't even think he, he he can I think he's all better now I don't I don't know I was concerned I maybe I was more concerned than he was letting on like if he was concerned he wasn't letting it on so I was like, are you ever going to be the same again? <laughs> Is it going to be forever? He was like, I'm going to be okay. But he, had, he did have the crutches for a while. 
Because he fell down yeah. the stairs at the studio. Oh, man, the studio is bad. Yeah, he's running up and down those stairs, but now he's back to running up and down the stairs again. For a while, he was going up and down the stairs very cautiously. Yeah. But he was flying up and yeah, down those stairs like a lot all the time. I think he's back to that again now, actually, though. I'm sure he's doing it in a way that's more safe than, you know, he's, uh, he learned for his pain is not going to be. Yeah. I'm not going to knock on anything, but I'm, I uh, have never whatever. seriously injured myself. Uh, well, I've broken my hand. The worst that happened is a couple of times I broke my hand. I don't know if that was before the program even happened. I think it might have been even before the program. So it was over 10 years ago I fell down the stairs and I broke my finger. I think I broke it because it's not straight anymore. I think I'm... I think, huh? Were you around oh. when I broke my finger? I think it must have been before the program. Yeah. I don't think I I I think I, I think it did break because of my pinky and I think I didn't heal right because it's not right. It's not right anymore. Wait, yeah, sometimes. Right. Sometimes, uh, you know, uh, the fingers bend uh, even if they're not broken. That's just it's like something ha has something to do with the joints. You know, yeah. like some some people have really, really twisted, gnarl gnarled fingers and stuff, and I think it has may have to do with arthritis. But well, but they don't match though. The, it's like my, it was on my pinkies, and can you see me? Yeah, they both like see this one. Yeah, this one is like this is how it is. If it's like straight up, it's like sideways a little bit. See? Yeah. And the other one is straight. So I would think that if it was like some kind of not just like physical thing that it would be the, it would be that they would be the same so i'm pretty sure yeah. that i broke it and i messed it up i didn't heal it right yeah have you have you ever stubbed your uh finger like on a basketball or anything just i don't like basketball or sports maybe that's why i'm well. and i guess that i bike a lot but i don't really ever run or walk yeah. I did get hit by a few cars, but it's that hard. <laughs> I only you been, buddy. I've been hit by a car maybe like four or five times in the last, you know, fifteen years or so or more I guess of riding the bike. That's that's four or five times too many I would say. Yeah, but I'm I never was seriously injured from any of those times getting hit by the cars. I was a little sore for a few days at the worst ones, but never Never anything worse than that. Nothing debilitating? Yeah. I mean, last time I got hit by the car was only in, like, 2000 and maybe 18, I think. Yeah. You remember that? They hit me in the parking That's lot. Nice, yeah. They hit me in the parking lot at Goodwill, and then they were yelling at me, but I should have been yelling at them. I'm like, what are you yeah. doing? They're like, you hit me with a car. Yeah. What are you... I don't know. I mean, it's like the way... Sometimes, you know, pedestrians are like, you know, they're just like, I don't know. They're, it's like, what are they going to, I mean, it's like either you hit someone or someone hits you, you know? Yeah. It's like, are they, are they going to just run right into the side of your car, you know, or your bike? It's like crazy. Uh, they kind of came around the corner and hit me. I was just like going through the parking lot like a, like a anybody else would be going through the parking lot, but they they should be stopping, I think. But uh, yeah, did you fall off your bike? Yeah, I was on the ground. Oh man! I think it was the bike I have now. I I don't wear a helmet. I never wear a helmet. Yeah. You should. I guess. Uh, oh, especially then I was. Check out that new intersection in Hawks Prairie? No, I haven't been out there. That's pretty good. I mean, they're, it's like, you know, they might have it completely finished uh, by the end of the year. Um, like, right, it's pretty, pretty much done now. 
Yeah. Looks like they're right. maybe going to add a few more stoplights or something like that. But, yeah, it's it's real slick. I mean, it. I think it really helps moving the cars through there. So what is it? I, what, what, can you describe it? I don't really understand how it works. Yeah, basically, uh, when you're approaching the intersection, it sort of angles you over to the left side. And so, like, only one direction of traffic gets a green light. So you, if your side has a green light, you just proceed over onto the left side of the bridge. And then the deal is, like, say you're going from Matoni's down into Hawks Prairie, mm -hmm. like Port McDonald's. If you want to go north on I-5, there's no stoplight. So it's just you get in the left lane and you just keep going. Then even if the light turns red to keep going south on Marvin, you can you can just proceed on to I-5 northbound without stopping. So, uh. so there's no left turn, uh, you know, lights. For the for the highway on ramp, so it's so it's heavily like favoring the the highway people. It's a free left, yeah, but it, it works better. I mean, it's a lot faster. I don't know if they have added like the pedest. I haven't seen like really pedestrians. I don't know if they've added the pedestrian crossing feature yet. So. That could slow it down a little bit. Yeah, but. well, that's a big reason why I got out of there too. It's like, where I was I gonna? How was I gonna get out there? You know? Yeah, it's a day. It's a dangerous place to be a pedestrian because. Yeah. You no. Know, it's pretty it's, crazy. It's I crossed like the freeway exit like twice a day for years. Yeah. Yeah, that could have been bad. Um. There's a lot of people biking out there. Mm -hmm. there's, there's probably quite a few homeless people out there now. There's probably some encampments in the woods out there. Oh, there's big encampments out there, right out there by that. Yeah, by that spot. That was a uh, issue. But, but yeah, by Seven Eleven and Cabela's and stuff. Lots like that, of probably. lots of camps out there. That was an issue. Yeah. Um, lots of people living out there. They're getting getting kind of wild. I don't know. They, I don't know where all these people are coming from. Seems like this wasn't how it was before, but I don't know if they were just like in other places, or if it's a bigger problem or what. Like, where? What happened? Like, I think people are probably coming in from uh, Portland. That would be my guess. You know, a lot of people, and maybe even Tacoma. You know. So. Moving from Tacoma to Hawks Prairie, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, Tacoma, like, there might be, it might be, like, overpopulated for homeless people, you know? Like, there's no place for more homeless people to go there. Uh, yeah, and Thurston County has pretty good services. Let's see what we're doing in 2016. Yes. Is, is there still left? We, get blown away. We, we did not get blown away. I guess it was a big storm in 2016. Oh, yeah. Same as now. Yeah. Bye. Bye. It's storm season, huh? It, it's definitely storm season. It was a storm yeah, kind of yesterday. It was a bit of a storm. Tons of branches down. Some bit really big ones, too. Uh, oh, it wasn't a full-on storm yesterday, but it was pretty close. I guess it depends on where you draw the line. I'd say it was pretty much full-on for for Olympia standards. It was a storm? Um, yeah. Yeah. I heard that, like, at elevation, if you were, like, five or 6,000 feet up in the mountains, that the wind was blowing at, like, 70 or 80 miles an hour. Yeah, that's definitely, how, how far does that's it? That's like 
That's hurricane force wind. Oh, okay. How fast does it go? How fast does it breeze? Uh, I mean, if if it's blowing 15 miles an hour, that's windy. That's like real breezy. You know. Yeah. Like even 10 miles an hour, it's like you'll feel that. I mean, think about it when you're biking. If you're going 10 miles an hour, you feel the wind. You know. Yeah, you gotta lean into it. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're getting down to when we got about five minutes left. Yeah. I'm watching the news. Yeah, what are they just politics? Viruses, yeah. politics, fires, murders. Yeah, Governor Cuomo, he talks about uh virus a lot the new york huh right yeah yeah i guess they're doing better yes. that's what i heard but uh that's like it's, it's like antibiotics though you know like when you this is what i've been saying the whole time like when you start feeling better you want to stop taking the antibiotics yeah but you can't you got to let it you got to let it run its course otherwise it's not going to do anything at all like if yeah. every, I mean, it, it's not really viable, like, because we got to, like, maintain society. But if every single person, you know, hid out for a couple of weeks, we could get rid of it. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's what some countries did. They um, just, they were, like, did a hard lockdown and said, you are not allowed to leave your house. Yeah. But like, people got to eat. For maybe like medical emergencies. Well, there's like medical emergencies and then somebody has got to maintain the grid too. And all this stuff like, well, yeah, th that would be like the essential worker si situation. Yeah. But you know, some, some countries were like, they brought, they delivered food to their people, you know, yeah. like just straight up. Like, brought in two weeks worth of food and like you know dropped it at every door step and what they were like we expect you to stay in for two weeks yeah that'll be good and, uh, and you know i heard that the u.s postal service had a plan to ship masks to every address that they deliver to yeah and that the the white house told them not to do that what's they, up with that that's not good yeah that would mean where where would that the funding for all that come from i guess but it's like the from the white house or whatever it's like uh, i mean it's an emergency contingency it's yeah. like it's an emergency why wouldn't they support why wouldn't they say oh yeah so if 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 everyone wore masks, it would cut the transmission rate by like 80 or 90 percent. Then why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. You know, why? <laughs> like, why, you know, what, how can people be so just dumb to not try that? Yeah, everybody's got masks. I guess it's like, where does everybody get these masks? <laughs> I got a new pack of masks and they're from, they're like half. <laughs> the label is like from like not even like a uh, American like label. It's just like all in Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. So like they're like yeah, shipping mean, them out fast. Why, would, why wouldn't the the White House use its emergency authority that it can do uh, the you know, like national you know disaster yeah. plan or whatever. Like, it has authority in an emergency situation to actually take over manufacturing. So they can, like, go to a factory and be like, we're going to use, we're going to force you to use your factory to to make masks for, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so that every single person in the U.S. Uh, can have a N95 mask. The government you know? failed us hard and continues to fail us hard. So they're not doing very good. Uh, yeah, it's I mean, sad. They it's sad. They just should have made it so everybody could have an N95 mask, um, you know, and uh, and and they should have supported people in you know the food workers and you know the delivery drivers and 
everybody else. Didn't know, work. Know. They messed it up, and now we're in a crazy, like, back and forth. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Trump is trying to get a third uh, Supreme Court nominee. I heard that's the, his third one. I don't even know what his two, first well, one Barrett, is. Barrett's the third one? Yeah, I guess it, she's the third one. I didn't Out of know nine? That. I'm going to have to look it up. I don't know. Yeah. I don't really understand how that's going. Like, uh... I've heard that um, that Biden is is looking good for the win. Yeah, that's what they but, said about Hillary, though. But that, yeah, I, I people were pretty confident about Hillary. You know, yeah. there was no. I mean, uh, it was a surprise. You know, yeah. it was just. You know, um, but uh, I'm doing my best to support Joe more than I did with Hillary because I I sort of, you know, didn't didn't do much for her. You know. Yeah. Well, everybody is. Uh, well, we made it. Uh, thanks, Bird. Thanks, Grandma. Thanks. Uh, I don't know who else. Take care of yourself, Bird. Thank you, Kenny. Hey, yeah. You yeah. Good. I'm more you stay healthy. All right. Here's yeah, the credits. We need you. We need you. <laughs> we need the program. Oh, it's scary, Monty. Woo! Scary. It's Wednesday. We're on TC TV Channel 22, 1130 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, what do you say, baby? Dot com. 360-836-1384. Call me a message. Get on TV. 109 State Avenue, number three. Check it out. That's the studio we're not going to right now. Graham, Graham, that's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jody Fabos, Graham, Graham, South Park, Hondra, Mother's Room, Kyle, Wester City, USA, thank you. Andrea, the Gia, watch it. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Bye.